Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Latherix, and of course, welcome back to our little village. Today, we're going to be messing around with things I am yet to actually try out. Most importantly, roads. Something I'm sure many of you have been telling me to build, but I simply, well, I wanted to mess around with the other stuff. So today, we're going to be doing those. So, the whole point of roads is that your half things will move faster when they're on them. And of course they look rather nice. So that's what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be putting down some roads. Now we have the choice of stone or wooden roads. I'm going to go with wooden purely because we really do need to use the huge amount of wood we currently have stockpiled. So let's move it all the way down here. Then we'll decide what to do afterwards. Okay, so finished editing and build yes. Oh, and I'm very sad to say, the person who spawned in the water has passed away. Ah, oh. But yeah, the reason why I need roads now is A, my mining efforts have been, well, started very, very far away. Let me just go into slice mode to show you. Yep, we are now mining quite a lot. In fact, that's a bit too low. Let's go to the other mine, which is even bigger. There we are. And, well, our blacksmith is all the way down here. The problem is the blacksmith also needs wood for her endeavours. So if I if I wanted a blacksmith with more efficiency, I guess a halfway would do. But I've decided I'm going to build the blacksmith up here. So we're going to be building a custom building. A small hut for the blacksmith very, very soon. We're still, of course, building our little houses here, though. So there's still quite a bit to do. We've also started producing our own silkweed for our, um, for our tailor. Yay, for our weaver, in fact. So there's quite a bit to do. So while that's going on, I guess this doesn't pause the game, does it? No, excellent. So we can start um, building a custom building and seeing what we can actually do. I guess another thing is we could just cut down these trees and allow this stockpile here to accept wood. That would actually be a great idea. That way we wouldn't need all that effort. So there we go. Those trees will be cut down and put in there. Let's have a quick look at this. And design building. Okay, so what do we want then? We want foundations, wood. That'll go there. It's only going to be small, so an 8 by 6 perhaps? How about 9 by 6 so I have a middle section? That would be better, I think. So, walls. Oh, cool. So this goes round it like that. Okay. Hmm. 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 Have a stone wall and wooden columns, perhaps? That would be different. I mean, it makes sense, considering we're building it next to the mountain. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. Can I actually make it smaller? Is there a way to make this thing shorter? Does it have to be this height? I can't see an option for height, so we'll leave it at that for now. Roofs, I would like a wooden roof, because I think they'll look way better. And let's go with the dyed yellow for now. Ooh. I don't want it more flat. I think I'd want it more flat and simple looking if it's going to be just a simple hut. But maybe not quite that flat. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. Oh, that looks better. I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh, that's even better. Yes, yeah, so have it like this, so it's facing the thing, and then have the entrance there. Okay, that's cool. That is actually very cool. Okay. I'm going to move it one to the side, though, once I've finished it, so it's unlocked. Actually, no, I was going to, to make the stockpile bigger anyway, so we'll make the stockpile fit with it rather than the other way around. Floors. Do I want any more floors? I don't really want more floors, do I? Um, we can build everywhere with this one. Okay, so... No, we don't really need any floors. No, that'd be silly. So, let's have a regular door, because I don't really think any fancy would fit. Oh, it's not even on this side, though. But could I add a small window, then, if I did this? Windows. Oh, it can't fit next to it. Okay, so, how do we change this, then? So, can we make the foundation a little bit bigger? Or do we have to start again? Feels like we might need to start again. Or just undo until we get to the point. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a better way for this, but... Yeah, let's just start again quickly, so we actually do this correctly. Okay, so we want it two odd numbers, just to make it easier on myself. So, how about... 9 by... How about 9 by 7? Okay, so it's quite small still. We have the walls, we want the stone wall. And let's go with that yellow like brick. For the roof, we want it to be wooden yellow. We want it like this. Okay, that's very tall. 
Well, I guess it's because we're increasing the max height with that, aren't we? So then regular wooden door. There. And then windows, I guess, would have them... It'd be cool to have them here and here, but we don't have enough space. So let's just have them quite low down. Could we have two on each side? That'd be kind of nice. Okay, two on that side, two on the other side. Like that. So it's two off the ground and one away. Two off the ground, one away. Excellent. Okay. And we'll have its own little road, just like that. Because why not? Furniture. Um, do we want to have a bed in here? I mean, we could. We could have a bed in here, I suppose. We've got the foundation in there. Do we have to put the floor in that? Oh, do we have to put the floor like inside? I don't understand how that. No, no, the floor is already inside. So we could put a bed in here. So it's her permanent abode, I suppose. That'd be kind of nice for the blacksmith. And then have just put the workshop inside. I guess. I guess we can put the workshop inside. At least I hope we can. Okay. Yes, that'll be a little blacksmith. So very simple. Very nice. Slabs. Not sure what. Um. Sure. Let's do this. Freestanding walls, and then the wat that's huge. Okay. Finish editing with that, and let's. Build! Yes. This is now being built, yes? Yes, okay, so I was building the outside thing as well. So we need stone, wooden, all that stuff we already have. So that will be built by itself. Excellent. We could save it, but we can always save it later, I guess. Plus I probably won't want more than one of these anyway. Okay, so that will be our, our blacksmith's abode. Now, one thing I do need to do, I think, is start to improve our, our military might. Um, no, we're okay, thank you. The trader returns! And yep, two bronze breastplates. Excellent. That happened off camera, and that means our soldier will now get a breastplate. I do think, though, I do want a new soldier. We have quite a few people right now, so I'm assuming we, we do have weapons already basically ready. Oh, we only have two workers, though. We do only have two workers. That's a little bit... Okay, the next time we get a new person, we're going to make it into a soldier. So, let's just uh, allow this to be built. We could have changed the colour of that, but I kind of like it being like that. A goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into ta- Oh my lord. You dumb buck. Me big glittering chieftain. Natural order mean you give me stuff and I know destroy you. Me want supplies. Understand? I went through like three different voices then. You dumb buck. Me big glittering chieftain. Two wooden doors, one mean bed. Um... We could give him this, I mean, it's not much. Then attack him when we're ready. Sure. Okay, yeah, I, I know, I know, I'm sorry, you died. I understand. Okay, so tomorrow, hopefully, we'll, we'll get a new person. And that new person can then... Oh, did I not... Oh, was it not being oh, I guess all my workers are busy, aren't they? There's quite a few things being done. So, I so yeah, when we get a new person, we'll make them a soldier, and we'll go and attack their fort in glorious battle. Here we are, the immigration report. We have food, morale, and, a and the net worth for a brand new person. So welcome aboard, sir. You're instantly going to be drafted to the military, most likely. Oh, no, you are not. Two body, one spirit. Hell no, am I going to put you anywhere near... Um, <laughs> a sword. You're going to run away and you're going to have no health and just die. Two body, six spirit. Two body, f so I guess this would be the best one to make a soldier because at least he won't run away. Okay, Riley. Oh. <laughs> Genders are hard and stuff, I guess. Okay, so you change job. I would like you to be a footman. There we go. A survivalist is selling stuff we really don't care about. So, actually, I will buy the bundles of wool. Before you go, so I do, I do need those. I still need to upgrade my um, trapper. So there we are. We don't. We now have two soldiers. I think you'll grab the mace we got a while back. There we are, the old mace, and you'll grab a shield. Do we not have a spare shield? I mean, I, I know I sold shields recently, but I thought I had at least a couple of spares. Apparently not. Okay, let's make it. Let's make you a shield. You should have a bronze armor plate already. Fantastic. Speaking of which, you should now be able to make me some plate mail. In fact, I definitely can make them, so let's make two 
full of those. Let's not make the iron mail, because I told you not to make iron. There we go. So let's wait until you ha at least have a shield, and then we'll send you both to fight, I suppose. So let's make a group of both of you. Wah! Is the group, of course. Add member. And of course we're going to add the other footman. There we are. And of course you're both hungry. No one's home currently other than a couple of workers. Brilliant mind. Attracted to shiny things. Ulan! The Extemporaneous. What? <laughs> okay then. And Chieftain Morn the Mighty. I've changed my mind. The goblin frowns so hard you can't see his eyes. <laughs> what? You know have my stuff. Blood, stabby, and vengeance. I really think we should get them killed before they gain in power. Let's get them together first of all and put them both here. Both our soldiers. Then we'll move on and start the fight. Goblins and roads. It's a brand new game. Okay. Just kill everything in sight for me, lads. Uh, lad and lassie. Also, yeah, let let the the lass um, take the lead. She's a lot stronger than you are. By the way, the not fighting back is actually a bug. Um, I did have a few enemies actually fight back recently. Ooh, they've built up there as well. Both of you... Oh, oh look, that one's actually fighting back. Oh, it ran away at the last second. Well done, you leveled. Well, at least they're getting quite a bit of experience, and I guess we should really go stabby stabby their leader. Kill the goblin leader. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, they're so cowardly and yet adorable. <laughs> Ow, it hurts. Well, that's so uh, nice. Tell my sheep me loves her always. You know in Ogo coming, soothsayer say Ogo crush everyone. I wonder who Ogo is. I guess we should also destroy up here. The fight over, I mean I can't see any fighting actually happening anymore, but um yeah, move up there and destroy that little camp as well. Um, you know there's ladders up there we go. Ooh, shiny things. We have a bronze breastplate and an um iron mail. We have Ooh, iron mail, that's better than bronze. Actually, I don't know. Is male better than that? A goblin sneaks into camp. Actually, no. It oh, for Pete's sake, do you really just both run past them? Don't let it steal our stuff. Get back there and defend. There we go. Sneaksy thieves. There we go. That was a lot easier than expected, honestly. Again? Darn it! Well, these aren't really doing any aren't really any danger to us. If we can run back down here quickly enough, maybe we can um, save them. Yeah, these aren't really doing anything. They're just kind of sitting around harvesting, so that's not really a threat. This is why we need walls. Jeez, more of them! Come on, lads. There we go, killing one of the thieves, but there's still so many left. Don't you dare steal our stuff. We haven't got enough stuff as it is. Well, actually we do, but still, we want that stuff. It's our stuff. We got it ourselves. You just learn to farm. Ah! No one's actually attacking us. Is it trying to hit our stockpile? I like how it runs as soon as the soldiers get near. Oh no, it's after one of our civilians! Okay, I'll, I'll just let you do your own stuff. Let you do an automatic thing. Okay, you're back after the one up there, I suppose. My lord! Ah, oh, that's why- oh, they go back to the camp, so you do need to destroy these camps. Okay. Let's destroy this one, because one has way more people there. Maybe I should have more... You know what, maybe I should, um... 
get these two out of their parties and then have two separate parties, one for each. Maybe that'd be better, so I have one in each area. Rally your halflings to defend the town, so I assume that makes even like a like civilians fight. Yeah, that's almost built. Also need to order them to loot all that stuff inside there. Oh, yeah, okay, we've already done that, so that one's been destroyed, so now we go ahead and go over here. Then we'll just put them back on defense. Let them patrol. Oh, darn it, there's a thief in the town. I'm not good at this. Do I, look do I get a new person? I do! Hurrah! Okay, let's turn that off and you'll probably just defend by yourself. I'm assuming that's probably going to allow them to just do their own. There we go. Give our stuff back. They're stealing stones. Like, we have gold. We have precious minerals. They're stealing stone. These are not very smart goblins. Like, even by goblin standards, that's not very intelligent. I know she must have got loads of experience by now. Seems very slow to level. There we go, okay. Back to what you were doing, all is good. Okay, so let's loot everything here. There we go. And then we'll go back to building roads and figuring out where to go. So obviously we want a road up here. Now I tried to build a stone road earlier, but it actually glitched out. I mean, completely glitched out, so much so I had to restart the game. Now, obviously, this is in, is, a, is in an extremely early alpha stage right now, so you do have to kind of just, yeah, bear in mind some things will glitch out, it's just going to happen, just like with the whole water thing and people spawning in water. I still want to play, because I think this has got... Re there's the, I love games which are in alpha, which seem to have a lot of potential, and seem to um, have a dev which actually is working towards it, and this seems to have both. Why did I build so many doors? Do you want doors? You want wooden swords? Do I have? Them? Oh, so Yay, coal! Excellent. Loads of coal, loads of iron. We can mass produce loads of good stuff as soon as we put the blacksmith in here. So that'll be much easier for them. So yeah, we need to start doing more road stuff and actually having these in areas. You know, we need to put the stockpiles and stuff in better places. Except there we go. We have two giant bone axes. Ooh. That's really cool. Carved from the clavicle of some great beast. Okay, so our new person, I'm actually going to make a trapper, so we need to make a new trapper's blade. If you'd be so kind. Because I'm going to make a shepherd. Because I've never made a shepherd before, and that's going to be something of interest to me, so I have no idea how this works. Because our trapper so 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 um so to make a shepherd um, the, a trapper must be upgraded, just like how a farmer can become a cook. It's a very specific thing. So we're going to have a, um... <laughs> there we go. Next one in there. So yeah, so we're going to have our current trapper be upgraded, and then the new person will become a trapper. Quick look at your stats, actually, for a second, if, was, if I could. Wow, four bodies, six spirit. That's better than our current footman, isn't it? Better than Riley. Okay, so I'm going to turn Riley into the trapper then. Riley's going to become the trapper as soon as it's made. So for now, just turn her back into a... Sorry, him back into a worker, rather. And then we'll have... a new person swap over to being a soldier. Because that's just better. More health. Um, same or better spirit. Okay, there we are. So eventually we'll make a knife. What do we actually need for the knife, anyway? We need... Was it steel? One steel ingot, one wood. Uh, what do we have in our inventory currently? We. Psh, one second. We should have some. <clears throat> we should have some steel, I imagine. Inventory tin. Yeah, we have loads. She's just doing something else right now, so she'll finish off doing that. And then when she's done that, she'll make the um, blade, I imagine. Yep, she's off to get something. Okay. A grizzled traveller. Ho oh, there, township! How are things for you? It's been pretty quiet, you know. It's a bad sign when the birds stop singing. My guess is wolves. Goblin wolves. Watch your borders. You don't want to fight them after their trainers got them in a lather, you hear? 
Bunker down if you need to, or run. Running's good, no shame in surviving another day. Goblins are back. Whoa, 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 whoa. They decided where now? Oh. <laughs> One of the dead. Was there someone in there? Okay, so I assume my soldiers are going to... Don't go into the water and bug out, please. No, okay, so you've stopped that, at least. If they get too close, they should be attacked automatically, shouldn't they? Where are they, the goblins? Okay, let's just send them over there, then. There we are. Um. <laughs> that's an interesting dance you did there. The, the ladder's over here. The, yeah, there you go, well done. Oh, this is almost done, though. Excellent! Have we made the trapper's knife yet? Apparently not, we're still making stuff from before. Maybe I should stop the things being made and then ask her to make it again. Hello! I thought you were a goblin there for a second of your ponytails. Blacksmith, what are you doing? We have the stuff required, so why aren't you just making it? What are you currently making? Oh, you're making these things, aren't you? Okay, let's just, just for now. Okay, we'll, let's wait for a second until she makes the knife. Another person joins our lovely little village. Welcome! What are your stats like then, sir? I really, need, I really do need to start paying attention to their stats. Four body, five spirit. Not bad at all. For now you can be a worker, but later on you can be something more important. Look how I think we've been mining a bit too much. <laughs> I think we really need to slow that down. How's our shelter doing? We definitely don't have enough for everyone. Oh, better than it used to be. However, we're on five now, so that's better. I was just making... There we go. We've got our new hunter's knife. Um, Riley! You once used a sword. Now you will become a knife wielder. You are our, our new trapper. Well done! I just realised as well, when the trapper becomes a shepherd, they'll actually let go of the trapping knife. I could have just done that earlier, couldn't I? Yes, I could have. Whoops. Okay, well our current... Why are you over here? Whatever, don't, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, change job. You are now going to be a shepherd. Okay, awesome. Now, I have no idea how shepherds work. All I know is there's a specific kind of land for it. An animal pasture. So let's wait until she evolves. Da 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 da. Okay, so. Let's make an animal pasture, I suppose. Let's make it there. Because why not? Let's make it 19 by 19, because I want to. Oh, wait, no, it's 21. Okay, so 22 by 22, rather. No. No. Yes. Shepherds bring animals. Okay. So how do shepherds work then, I wonder? What can a shepherd do? Any abilities? No, no abilities. She's chasing... She's currently chasing a sheep. Oh, this sheep. Oh, I think that's summoned because we have her. So she will... After she eats, she'll get the sheep there. Okay, very cool. So what abilities does a, say, shepherd get as they level up then? Let's have a quick look, see. Shepherd, what do you do as you level? That's my question. You get a bonus speed, which always seems to be a thing. Ooh. Oh, this is from before. I wonder if she keeps those. Maybe she does, I don't know. Speed up 10%, and then we have extra bonuses. And then we have wild animals are more likely to appear whenever the shepherd is looking for them. Oh, cool. Okay, so soon then the shepherd should, if we can watch what she's doing again, where are you, Miss Shepherd? Hopefully tame that sheep, then bring it back to the pasture. They always have a bit of trouble with this little bit of rock here, which is kind of which is kind of odd. I just realised, did I actually put that building to actually build? Probably didn't actually finish it, did I? Nope. Doesn't matter too much, we were already building the house, so honestly, it really doesn't matter. Yay! We has a sheep! It loves us. Cared for by a compassionate shepherd, this sheep will produce more wool and off. Oh, we can just keep it to breed. Oh, that's really sad. I guess we can get wool from it, hopefully. I'm hoping we can get wool from it, you know, without having to harvest it, unlike a certain game. So, yeah, by a certain game, I mean a lot of them, strategy games. Honestly, quite a few of them require the death of the animal for any harvest. 
Okay, so this building's done. So let's see if we can move the blacksmith over there, actually inside. So, move item. Can we put it inside? Um, let's do the... How do you go inside? There we go. Again! Excellent! Okay, let's put it... Would it be okay like that? What is she doing? Is she going to bed with her sheep? That sounded wrong! Is she... Aw, oh, she's cuddling up with the sheep all innocently like. That's meant to be the blacksmith's quarters. Get back to work. Those goblin wolves aren't like normal wolves. They're fast and vicious and unafraid. Run while you can. Oh. Do we get to be attacked right now? Doesn't seem like it. Nighttime has struck. Okay, anyway, I'm afraid though I am out of time for this recording. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course- Oh, goblins. Oh, goblin wolves. Never mind, okay, let's deal with these before they start fighting with them. Because that's what we kind of want to do. Okay, so... People in the WAR group, could you please get over here? Wait. Yeah, I've just thought we need to change over one of the people. Um, where's our new... There we are. So both of you now should get over there. Regular invaders as well. What a bad time. Okay. Soldiers. Could you please move over... Here, first of all. Why are we all over there with the shepherd? I don't even know what, what that shepherd's up to. Wow, the bone axe is vicious. One shot kills against those. I'm hoping the same will be done for these guys. Go and kill the wolves! Damn goblin gropers. Gropers? Really, that's the best insult I can have. Oh! I love how quickly they run! They're cowards! That bone axe, though. Yay! Oh, we freed them! Oh, that's awesome! They didn't even attack us because we freed them. Um, I'm going to just... Jeff, would you like to be my friend? Me and you, Jeff? Friends? Forever? No, I was going to say, are you not going to kill that one? Bah, the orange! What? Oh, goblins got into the mine! Damn it, why didn't it warn you when your people are under attack? We lost one of our people, I'm not sure what person it was though. Why are you doing this now? No. Actually, that was a great trade, but I don't care. Did I? You died. Okay, stop that now so you go on, go on patrol. Oh no, do we have all our jobs still? Let's have a quick look. So we have the trapper, we have the shepherd, we have the mason, we have the cook, we have the blacksmith, so it must have been one of the workers, I assume? Carpenter, weaver. Ah, oh. We've lost our first person. And the music's still playing, why? I've got our soldiers on patrol, so if there is anyone nearby, they should be fought. The wolf's still kind of sitting there, which is kind of adorable. Terrifyingly ferocious. Nah. No. Oh, they're running after something, these two are. Daily update! Just about got a new person to replace the last one. <laughs> There's a new worker for us. Okay. Well, our road's being made now. We'll continue that off camera. So thank you again so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stonehearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you, and goodbye, and I'm hoping that this still works.